So you're flying along in your plane near a VOR when you hear this from ATC. Hold southwest of the VOR on the 240 radial. How do you know what kind of entry to make? Should it be direct, parallel, or teardrop? A lot of people use something called the thumb method. I'm going to be frank with you. I never really understood this method and to date haven't tried it or taught it in any of my instrument lessons. Nothing wrong if you're using it, just for whatever reason I never picked up on it. So I'm going to show you how I use an easy method to visualize holding pattern entries. So we're told to hold on the 240 radial from the VOR. Let's draw that radial. We'll be flying on the radial inbound to the VOR on a course of 060. This is the reciprocal of the radial. ATC didn't mention anything about turns, so this is a standard holding pattern, meaning right turns. We'll do an outbound course of 240, then turn back inbound. Let's look at our VOR and heading indicator. The first step is to figure out what heading to fly to go to the VOR. We'll twist the VOR until the needle centers and we get a 2 indication showing due north, 360 degrees. Now we can turn that heading and we'll be pointed straight towards the station. So what kind of entry do we make? It might be easy to see with the racetrack pattern drawn out and our position plotted for us to look at, but we don't have that luxury in the cockpit. Let's take a closer look at our heading indicator. This is what indication we'll have when we're flying towards the station, heading 360. First, we want to place the VOR holding fix right in the center of the heading indicator. This makes sense because our airplane is flying toward it and will eventually overfly the fix. Next, we want to draw a line into the fix along the outbound course of the hold or the radial we're told to fly. And this also makes sense since this is the same line which connects to the holding fix. So here we have an outbound course of 240 degrees, so there's a line along 240 into the station. Next, it's a standard hold, meaning right turns, so we'll draw a right turn. Then we'll draw the outbound leg, and another right turn completes the pattern. Now obviously you won't be actually drawing on the heading indicator in flight, even in a flight school plane, but you can visualize this pretty easily, especially given a little practice. So let's see what kind of entry makes sense. Here's the pattern, and there's our plane approaching it. We'll fly to the fix, join the right turn outbound, and fly the outbound leg. This is the direct entry. Let's see what this looks like on our instruments. We'll start out flying towards the station on our 360 heading, keeping the needle centered and the flag pointing too. When we get station passage and the flag goes away, We'll start our five T's, first with turn toward the outbound course of 240. We'll start to time one minute for the turn. We'll twist the VOR to our inbound course of 060. The other two T's are throttle where we'd adjust our speed for the hold if necessary and talk where we'd report to ATC entering the hold. We'll ignore the last two T's for this video. So that's the direct entry. Now let's say we find ourselves in a different position initially when instructed to join the same hold. Once again, we'll start with determining the inbound heading by turning the VOR until the needle centers and we get the two indication. It's 290 degrees this time. We'll turn that direction and once again, we'll take a closer look at our heading indicator and visualize the hold. Let's first drop that holding fix right in the middle of the airplane then draw the same outbound course at 240 into the fix. Notice it's in a different position this time because our heading is different than the first example. It's still right turn, so we'll draw that, the outbound leg, and the inbound turn. Let's have a look. From here, we'll proceed to the fix, turn left to follow the inbound course in the opposite direction, Make a big left to a heading to intercept the inbound course, and once intercepting, turn right and fly inbound. This is the parallel entry. It's a bit more involved than the direct entry, so let's see it at work. We'll start by flying the inbound to the VOR from our initial position, keeping the needle centered. Once the flag flips and we've passed the station, we'll turn outbound to a 240 heading. When the from flag comes on, we'll time a minute outbound. Let's twist the VOR to our inbound heading of 060, 
After the minute, we'll make a left turn to our intercept heading, which will put us on a 030 heading to intercept the inbound course. As the needle centers and we intercept, we'll turn right heading 060 and track inbound. This is the parallel entry. Next, let's look at our plane starting from up here. Let's figure out our inbound course. It's 210 degrees. We'll fly that heading. And now let's look at the heading indicator up close. Drop the holding fix in the center. Draw the outbound course, the same 240 degrees, into the fix. Right turn, outbound, and another turn. From the look of this, we'll start out flying to the station, fly 30 degrees offset from the outbound course for one minute, then make a right turn to intercept the inbound course. This is the teardrop entry. Notice that compared with the parallel entry where we do our 30 degree offset just before intercepting, the teardrop has us do our 30 degree offset right when we pass the holding fix. Let's fly this entry. Heading of 210 to start. Notice that 210 is already 30 degrees offset from the outbound course, so when we get station passage, there's actually no need to turn. We'll start to time one minute in this offset. We'll twist to our inbound course of 060. After a minute, we'll make a right turn to intercept the inbound course and center the needle. It's one thing to be able to visualize these holds using the diagrams, but what if you're only given verbal instructions for the hold and it might not be published where you can look at it? Again, part of the instruction will sound like this, hold southwest of the VOR on the 240 radial. By the way, the way the phraseology works is the direction and the radial will always match, so southwest on the 240 radial. Both the southwest and 240 agree, makes it easier to understand. And this is what that actually looks like. But without seeing the diagram, it's actually still really easy to visualize this entry if you're only given verbal instructions. ATC told us the radial, 240, that's all we need to know. Again, we'll drop our fix, draw the line from 240 to the fix, no mention of turns, so that means right turns. We should be able to see that a direct entry works best. This is the same example from the first scenario. Let's look at another one. We're on this heading and ATC tells us to hold on the 044 radial. Drop the fix, draw the line from 044 to the fix, right turns. What do we do with this? The best entry is the teardrop, which looks like this. Into the fix, 30 degree offset, right turn around to intercept inbound. Now, what happens if it's the same scenario, but the instruction includes the words left turns? Our visualization is gonna look a bit different because after we draw the line in from 044, we make left turns. With this visualization, it looks like a parallel entry is our best bet. Now, if you're gonna go off and use this method, be aware that it's not foolproof and there are pretty easy ways to get mixed up, especially in a tense cockpit situation. So let's go through some do's and don'ts. Using the example from the first few scenarios, first, do draw a line along the outbound course of radial flown, in this case, 240 degrees. What you don't wanna make, the easy mistake of doing, is drawing from the inbound course, which would be 060 degrees. As you can see, this is a totally different hold you do wanna make sure you use the correct turns, either right or left, and that you make them at the fix. You don't wanna draw these turns from the other end of the hold because what you've actually done is flip the hold on the wrong side. My best advice is to practice these a few times until you're comfortable. Give yourself a random radial or random initial heading and either right or left turns and figure out which of these three entries work. You can even make a little random number generator to do it for you. Visualize the hold in your head, then draw it out and see how you did. After working with these a few times, I'm sure you'll have a lot less anxiety about holding pattern entries next time you're flying.